All right, so this is the the cards that we got. It's it's uh I don't think we made money. Uh, I would assume that we lost a lot of money, and that's kind of what we have. Um, I'm going to actually calculate it, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to have like a piece of paper and tell you if we made money. I, again, maybe there are cards, but I put all the rares here. Maybe they're uncommon worth a few dollars, but you guys have to let me know in the comments below. But I will go ahead and calculate how much money we've made. Uh, these retail at $29.99 without tax. And then a my cost is $18.60. Oh, Fire Diamond. I normally keep my Fire Diamonds, but I'm not going to for the sake of this. So I'm just pulling cards that I think or believe are valuable. And we blanked out again. Holy moly. So Commander Legends has not been very nice. Commander Legends has been very bad. Oh, a Ludo. No, we don't need you. Storm King. Oh. You know, I guess so many Storm Kings, but very few Copper Dragons, and supposedly they're the same rarity. You can't even see the Storm, Storm King. King. Oh, I'm tired. Commander Legends. Okay, oh. Would love to get a Dragon. Decanter is good. Lightning Bolt is good. Cone of Code. Juvenile. Okay, a rare. Gale, I think, is a rare. Nine Fingers is a rare. Okay, I mean, we got three rares and two okay cards. We're going to go ahead and put them in. <laughs> oh, so much jank. So after this, we're going to see if we can break even, which we probably did not. I'm going to spoil it for you. I don't think we came close, but who knows? I mean, who knows? Probably I know because, come on. All right, let's, let's see. Forgotten Realms. This, this set looks just like the, uh, the werewolf set from the symbol. You come to a river, feign death. Oh, oh. Not bad. Fly. Orb of dragon kind. I do not think that's good. If I had to take a guess, I don't think that would be very good. We are running out of packs and the packs quality is Oh, no co-card, or no uh, tab. Oh, draft. Stitched Assistant, okay. Lightning Wolf, I used to play this card all the time. Bramble Armor, reprint, okay, what is that? Is that like a super great card? No, that is a card that is worth no money. I used to play this a lot of time too. This is back when I played Magic. Hero's Downfall, wow. I remember this card was one of the best cards in Pharos, and that was a rare, and now it's, look, look at it now. Patchwork, Crawler, Swamp, oh, oh. Exile target creature card from your graveyard, put the one, one, one. He has all the activate, ah, I mean, some EDH player might want it. I mean, it's, it seems like a very EDH centric card, Midnight Hunt. When will we be back to Innistrad? Probably soon. Startle. Oh. Rotten Bounding Wolf. Oh, that's Kaya. Candle Trap. Dawn. Ooh. Mm, not great. Bait Hook Angler. Becomes hook hot drifter hungry for more sunrise champions of the arm hollowed respite my land my guaranteed land oh um 
Exile target non landing creature, then return the battlefield under its owner's control. If it entered under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Otherwise, tap it. Flashback. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't seem good to me. But what do I know, right? Okay, last pack for this opening. We've opened 36 packs at retail. There's security code. Oh, security code. And I'm pretty exhausted. I do not want to open no more packs. And I gotta go back and check the price of these things. I'm pretty sure, oh, dinosaurs. Okay. Oh, but I'm sure she got, I think she got reprinted. How the blank is she a dinosaur? Oh, how is he a dinosaur? You know what? Oh, and we only got one of them, huh? And the other one, they gave us two, when they gave us a mythic, they gave us two rares. Oh, look at these dinosaurs. Oh, commune of dinosaurs. So many, oh, what? Death touch. Wow, okay, I mean, you know, if I had to, if I had to just like take a random guess, like what happened here was surprisingly, uh, Jumpstart of all products did the best based on what I saw. I didn't open much Jumpstart, but I opened free Mythics from it. So it's like, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of weird, right? Okay, I'm gonna calculate prices and then come back to you and kind of explain to you. But this is the first set. Is it worth 18 dollars eight or 19 dollars almost probably not i think lavana there, there might be a chance i don't know if lavana has been reprinted to the ground i know oh oh also we have this again no idea of the land in this set is valuable this is worth like a few dollars some interesting uncommons lavana obviously lavana is the big one oh overgrown farmland okay so we got some land i feel good about that one i mean savala lavana I feel good about those two. I do not feel good about Knights of Autumn. Knights of Autumn is a very toxic, they're very toxic individuals. So I'm sure that this is not, I mean, oh, I'm sure this is not worth the amount of money I paid for it, but uh, you know, that's what happens when you invest a hundred million dollars into a toxic individual. All right, this card is very beautiful. I mean, this is a, one of the most beautiful cards. Good job. Hyun Chloe. Oh, I love the land. The vampire token could be valuable. You never know. Some, you know, random cards. Oh, this might be valuable. Ancient Green Warden and Rune Crab. Okay, that was a very diverse array of cards. All right, Faithless Looting. Here we go. Okay, I know this unbreakable formation is not great. Oh, this might be valuable. I mean, there, there's, there's hope, guys. There, there's some hope. I'm not gonna lie, there's, there's a little bit of hope. Uh, I mean, not in this not in this one, but there's, there's a little bit of hope. So we're hopefully gonna get $20, $30 being the mark to see if we broke even. This one was actually not bad. It's got land. It's got some land and it's got this mythic. I mean, it all kind of depends on, uh, surprisingly, it all depends on the, the jumpstart mythics. Wow, amazing. 